day three of shed blitz and the shed is empty apart from a few bits of wood and a lawnmower and some DPC that can't be bothered to find. There's a giant heap of rubbish that we've covered up because I don't want it wet in the car. Um, let's, uh, let's go towards the compressor. That's what damp sheds do to your equipment. Um, absolutely knacked. Um, won't need needing that. That's looking pretty rubbish as well, isn't it? And of course, there's other scrap involved. That's a whole sack of scrap. So where did all that shed go? Uh, well, it's, it's simple really, it's in here. But I think I'll be getting rid of more of it. Um, some, some bits of, of copper disguised as bits of car. Uh, I don't need that, that's rubbish because I've got this one. Much bigger, very, very more interesting historically speaking. And down here, a selection of vices, and they're flipping huge. They really are uh, big. The one in the middle, see, the one in the middle is your normal four inch that you normally want. That one's a heavy duty job. And that one's the one I'll probably use. And even the wood vice is nice. That's, this is the heap of rusty tools. Happen to be looked at. All sorts of stuff in there that I don't even know what it's for. There's some fantastic things, including a very large jack at the back there, which uh, my granddad used to lift the entire terrace. I'll tell you about that one day. More cars I don't own anymore. And the, lots of boxes, and uh, the shelves are full of bits and bobs, uh, but they really need sorting. I, for instance, uh, that is two crates of jars of screws and nails. I've got nails coming out of my ears. There's so many of them, which is sad because I don't use them. I use screws, which are much better nowadays. And of course the bikes. And I have done a video on that. That is my fantastic Voodoo 29er, which uh, has hardly had any use because I'm not a very energetic person. So loads and loads of rubbish. Um, members of, who have been to a certain steam event will recognise that carving. Uh, that's from a hundred year old wardrobe. Uh, we just kept the carving, the couldn't keep the wardrobe, but um, it wasn't very useful unfortunately. But we kept that as a piece of in something interest. That was Hillary's, from Hillary's uh, grandparents. So they married about World War One, something like that. Um, there we go, and there's the poor old blade in the middle. Oh, I'm not going to get to that, am I, any time soon. I'll just scan back. Buckets of tools, buckets of tools, buckets of tools, buckets of scrap. Uh, automatic transmission fluid for the car I got rid of ages and ages ago. So you get the gist. A lot of this really needs to go, but, um, uh, well, uh, it takes the second sort to sort that out. Uh, thank you very much.